I got to school today, a paper folding story by way of Japan. I live in Astoria in Queens, and that means that I have to take two trains to get to school. First, I take the N or the Q to Lexington Avenue, and then I have to take the 4 or the 5 to Grand Central Station. And on my way to school today, there was a big problem. I got off of the train, and I walked through the tunnel, walk, 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 I climb, I climb up the stairs, climb, 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 and at the top of the stairs, on the street, I didn't see great big tall buildings. I saw great big tall mountains. Now how was I going to get to school? I had to find a way. So, I made pair of very useful binoculars. And with my binoculars, I found a path. So I started to walk. And I walked and I walked and I tripped. And I walked and I walked and I tripped again. I didn't have the right shoes on for climbing a mountain. And I thought, oh, I'm never going to get to school if I keep falling down. I need something to help me. And then I had an idea. What I needed was a walking stick. And with my walking stick, I walked along, walked along, and I didn't fall once. And I got higher and higher and higher up the mountain. But as I was getting higher, the sun was getting brighter, and it was hurting my eyes. I didn't have any sunglasses, so I decided that what I needed was a sun hat. And when I put it on my head, the sun hat would protect my eyes, and away I would go. And up and up and up I went, higher and higher, further and further. But I was climbing so much, I started to get very hot and sweaty, and there wasn't a breeze at all. I needed a fan. So I folded and folded and folded so that I could have a fan and cool off and finish my climb up the mountain. And I opened my fan. Now I could cool off and I felt much better. And I climbed and climbed and climbed and then I stopped again. And I looked all around and I was all alone. And I didn't like that. I didn't want to climb up the mountain all by myself. And then a little bird flew up to me, and I thought, oh, maybe the bird will fly up to the mountain top with me. And that's just what we did. And when we got to the top, the bird flew away. But now I was at the top, and it was so beautiful. I decided to sit down in my tent and look around. And I could see the green uh, grass and the blue sky and the sun and the clouds. And I saw a waterfall. And then I realized that I was really thirsty. But I didn't want to just stick my hands into the cold water and get all wet on my way to school. I needed a cup. So I got to work. And I folded and folded and folded some more until I had a cup. And when it was done, I opened it up and I looked inside. Yep, 
It's a cup. So I stuck my cup underneath the waterfall and I had a drink of water. Ah, <laughs> oh, I felt so much better. And I looked at my watch and I had 10 minutes to get to school. If I ran down the mountain, I would be late. If I slid down the mountain, I would be late. The only way to get to school on time would be to fly. So, I made myself an airplane and when it was done, I climbed aboard, I counted to three, one, two, three, and flew to school. The